previously on Investigations 2. Oh my god! I didn't know what to expect from this character, but man, I uh, wasn't picturing that. She's like Denise. Right. Is that really his voice? He sounds like he got stuck in a barrel! This man is Prosecutor Vaughn. Why did you come out of the castle? What were you doing in there? Slap. As we know already, there is a contest for these three cooks to try to win over the angel's recipe or some such thing, so they're trying to impress the main guy with their desserts, and I gotta tell you, if I was the main guy, I'd be pretty impressed with this. I can't believe this amazing castle is made entirely out of confectionery. But one fluorescent cloth in a machine has gone missing. This is, it would seem this doorknob isn't a dessert. Oh! There is evidence that the victim was beaten to death with a blunt object. What's more, there's a bloodstain on a blunt object sitting right here in front of us. The bloodstain on that lamp belonged to the victim. Delicious knowledge in the art of dessert making is lacking in fundamental areas. And she claims she went into Mr. Master's room in order to study his desserts. We have to find Von Karma. There are some things we need to talk about. Now, where was I? Oh man. Back outside again. That guy is just saluting of a storm. December 24th. I feel like it should be darker than this at 8.05 p.m. In December. Oh, there he is, standing there with a the straight back. Man, he's already got a cane. The Prosecutor Von Karma, we need to talk about the case. Tisk, tisk, tisk. From the look on your face, I assume you found the murder weapon. <laughs> yes. We discovered the murder weapon in Delisha's room. Every time I say Delisha, I want to sing the song Felicia by Blues Traveler, which is a hilariously fast and funky and really happy song. It would seem Mr. Master isn't the only suspect in this case. Bah, that's not true. Where the murder weapon was found does not change the fact that Master is the culprit. As long as I'm here. Why is Von Karma so sure of himself? <laughs> That's how I got this far. Well, aren't you going to explain? Why the murder weapon was in Alicia's room? Hmm. Naturally. If you wish to know, I'll tell you. Oh, wow, really? We're doing this now? I mean, are you, this is not happening! Oh, God, did we do this in Investigations 1? I don't think we ever did, because he was on our team then. Oh, so this is the first time we've confronted Von Karma as a defense attorney since the very first game. Oh. And man, let me tell you, it feels great. Oh. In order to pin the crime on Delisha, Master used the rock salt lamp to kill the victim. He then deposited the murder weapon in Delisha's room. If he had left the murder weapon at the crime scene, Master would have been the one suspected. He couldn't move the body, but it was easy to move the murder weapon. Ergo, there would be no evidence pointing to a specific culprit at the crime scene. <laughs> oh god, he just knocked me back, and then I s briefly smiled there. Uh, the, Mr. Master took the rock salt lamp? Precisely. I carried out the investigation myself. There can be no room for doubt. <laughs> Do you have evidence that he moved it? <laughs> that would not be necessary. What? Tisk tisk tisk. If you have an objection, say it. Slap! Do you think a mere defense attorney could break my logic? I don't know. <laughs> well, we're about to. Boy, he looks miserable. Oh my god. I mean... <laughs> Getting all kinds of things, flashbacks of things I could say, like... Oh, and anyway, I'm not gonna do it. In order to pin the crime on Denisha, Master used the rock salt lamp to kill the victim. Alright. He took the rock salt lamp from Delisha's room. Exactly. In order to kill Dover, he had prepared the murder weapon beforehand. But the murder weapon was found in Delisha's room. Doesn't that place suspicion on Delisha, too? Hmm. I'm not finished. Master killed Dover. He then deposited the murder weapon in Delisha's room. Oops. I meant to check that. Okay. We must be very careful here. So the murder weapon was the rock salt lamp hidden inside the candy castle. 
<laughs> I discovered the murder weapon when I entered the castle. Be thankful, defense attorney, that you too came by this information. <laughs> Why was it necessary for you to enter the castle? Because I like Disney movies. And he's interested in candy castles. <laughs> Please be quiet before he gets both killed. Why you? Do you think I went in there because I wanted to? The detectives at the scene were useless, so I had to investigate myself. Oh no! I wasn't in charge of the initial investigation. Detective Bat joined the investigation halfway through. Yeah. Certain work ethic is required if you are to gain my trust. This is a flagrant waste of my time. I'll continue. Oof. Scary. If he left the murder weapon at the crime scene, Master would have also. Wait, 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 let me read that again. If he had left the murder weapon at the crime scene, Master. Okay, yeah, yeah. Would the body left behind in this room also be cause for suspicion? Objection! Objection! <laughs> I have a favor to say. I'd like to share it with you. Even dogs can wait. That's your favorite saying? I love it. Wait until I've finished. That's exactly what I'd like to say to you. <laughs> he couldn't move the body, but it was easy to move the murder weapon. Well, that makes sense, but I'm gonna press it anyway. Are you saying that Mr. Master removed the murder weapon and hid the body in the chest? He believed that if he hid it inside his own book, it would not be discovered. I mean, I actually believe that, though. So savory! Don't you mean so sorry? <laughs> she shows no sign of remorse. He moved the murder weapon and left the body at the scene. Ergo, there would be no evidence pointing to a specific cuddle prevent at the picture. <laughs> That's fun. It's way too fun. Well, I feel like this has to be it right here. Because, well, I know there's something in the back of my head I just know, but I need to put it together here. How can you conclude that Mr. Master is the killer without any evidence? Evidence is a thing of the past. Now we have video cameras everywhere. Watch the footage. You disappointed me. As long as the body was found in the Master's room, he's the prime suspect. Is there really no evidence pointing to anyone else at the crime scene? Surely there's room for further investigation! We're in a fight for our lives here. Insolent attorney. Another investigation is not necessary. Master must be the killer. If you think differently, cease these pointless words and speak with evidence. Suddenly I'm changing my W's to V's. Which is not good, considering how bad I am at pronouncing my V's. Must be something there incriminating someone else. Well, yeah, I mean, I know, it's her fingerprints. Right? Okay, sure. Bum, bum, ergo. There may not have been a point of specific culture at the culture at the crime scene, but we have finger marks here. They're not hers, though. Well, it doesn't say that. No fingerprints were found. Does it say anything about her fingerprints elsewhere? I don't think it does. Well, there was also this little thing. Oh, I don't think that's important just yet. Wait, wait, wait. No, his fingerprints. Okay, my bad. Um, I think this might actually be it, though. The finger, or the... No, it's not gonna be there. I'm gonna try it. Have a look at this piece of evidence. That's irrelevant to what we're talking about now. Ow! I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> a little goofy smile. <laughs> Tiska, tiska, tiska. Such a boring interruption, defense attorney. Sorry, I just wanted to test the waters and see how nasty you really would be. He's laughing at me, though. He doesn't even smile when he laughs, though. No evidence pointing to a specific culprit. Let me look at this one more time. Wait, wait, should we change this around a lot, though? <laughs> there were a lot of stuff, things that were like unclear about this. I don't know if direct mention of fingerprints, but it might be worth a try. Objection. Yep, that's it. It's true that the murder weapon and bloodstains disappeared from the vicinity. However, there was still one piece of incriminating evidence left behind. 
Have a look at this photograph. Look at this graft! <laughs> On Lucagen. Just taking away first of his first discovered! This cloth was used to wrap up the body. It's the blue cloth! Oh my god! That's why I said it was, that's why he was saying it looked familiar. Oh, I didn't even catch that. Doesn't it remind you of the fluorescent cloth from Delicia's room? Uh-oh. Eat my fluorescent cloth! He did not even flinch. Ta! Fluorescent cloth, schmluorescent cloth. You! Just what part of this cloth is fluorescent? I guess Von Karma doesn't know about this cloth's secret. It looks like a normal cloth at first glance, but if you use this rainbow light device, it looks really cool. Oh, man. Whoa! Oh, 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 oh! The first. The first blow of what will no doubt be many. Prosecutor Von Karma seems a little surprised. I don't think it was the cloth's ability to glow that surprised him. <laughs> One sheet of this fluorescent cloth is currently unaccounted for. Now I'd like you to look at the color of the cloth in this photo. The color of the cloth that I hold in my hand is royal blue. Both the rock salt lamp and the fluorescent cloth originally belonged to Delicia. Wouldn't it be natural to assume this cloth was used to wrap the body? What do you say? Prosecutor Von Karma, are you listening? I believe the present conditions give us much reason to suspect Alicia. Ah! She dropped the bowl. What? Did she pick it up with her foot? Hold the Greg, do you really suspect me? Whoa, that's the wrong voice. I don't yet know if you are the culprit, but it is true that you are hiding something. Am I right? Uh, that's... No jerks, don't say anything, bitch! This is my case. You're saying that the murder weapon and the cloth were originally from Delicia's room. Yeah? Tush. Well, guess what I've got. What's so funny? Just as I expected from you. Slap! The murder weapon and the cloth are not from her room. What? How fortunate for you. What does he mean? There's another cloth just like the ones she had? Before the contest began, Master noticed her violation of the rules. He confiscated the cloth and the rock salt lamp, and kept them in his room for safekeeping. So he just one of them? Okay. The victim was not seen, as he stayed locked up in his room after the contest had begun. The only one who could have unlocked the magic the locked rooms was Jeff Master, and the murder weapon, the rock salt lamp, was being kept in Master's room. Slap! This should be the decisive evidence in proving Master's guilt. Defense attorney? Adieu. Thank you for the win. Wow. That's, that's the moment right there. That's what I wanted to see, man. I wanted to see him kicking my ass. What's this? What is this weird feeling? I can't lose, man! What? Was all our investigating for nothing? No. Miss Delicious, why did you tell us about your confiscated items? I was embarrassed. Man, he said I'd look suspicious if I did. Prosecutor Von Kama. And it's true, you all suspect me, don't you? Yes, we do. Tcha. How clumsy of you, defense attorney. Fuck karma. So that's why he let us investigate Delicia's room. He wanted us to get the wrong idea so he could turn around and throw it, pull the rug out from under our feet. That is so Von Karma. And in your clumsiness, there's one more thing I need to inform you of. Two sets of fingerprints were found on the murder weapon. Two? I can't figure out just two! Yes, they belong to Jeff Master and Delisa Scores. Naturally. No other fingerprints were found. Well, that sucks. After Master killed Dorva with the confiscated rock salt lamp, he simply returned it. Ah, yeah. That. I don't 
15 and need to prove my case in court? I have more than enough perfect evidence to prove Master's guilt right here. Protection. What you got, Ray? I mean, uh, to Gregory. Jeez. Oh, that's how epic Ray is, though, that I would get him confused with this. Oh. I still have some doubts about the fluorescent claw found in Mr. Master's room. Bah! Irrelevant. After disposing of the body, he intended to return it to Delicia's room. Ah! I don't have enough information to refute Von Karma's reasoning. Shh, 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 shh. Nothing left to say. Then have a slap. If your job is done, leave this place. That's... Uh, I can't give up yet. Hmm. We've wasted enough time as it is. Bad, take them away. There are still some doubts left in our investigation. Detective Bad? Oh. What's the meaning of these? It's not my nature to leave any doubts behind. There is still one piece of evidence that is yet to be identified. That's right, I know what he's talking about, the little pin thing, right? Blah! Talk about your doubts as much as you want later. But this, my dear attorney, is none of your business. It ain't none of my business? The hell it ain't none of my business! Yeah, it's likely that I have the same doubts Detective Van has. But <laughs> Does that count as a but if I say it with a V? This is the piece of evidence living in this room. This right here. We still do not know the true nature of this piece of evidence. This is not the same doubt I had. Oops. Oh. The only thing I question here is you, defense attorney. There can be no identified ev unidentified evidence before the gum. <laughs> it wasn't this. Oh no! Please wait, I still have some doubts left. Please hear me out, I got seven more to show you before I give up. So, okay. Um, the fingerprints then? The finger marks? I don't really know. There's a lot of stuff that it feels like... What is this about? Yeah, okay, that's not it. There might be the finger marks. But there were no fingerprints, actually, but there were marks. That might be... Okay. Somebody left gloved with finger marks on one of Mas Mr. Mas- That's really a tongue twister. <laughs> if these were the killer's finger marks, then it's possible that the killer also didn't leave any fingerprints on the murder weapon. Yikes! How did you know they stayed at the crime scene? I gave them permission to investigate. Fire me, cut my salary, do whatever you want, but I will not cave into your demands. Bad! What possessed you to let a defense attorney into the crime scene? I don't give a rat's ass who I let in there. You tell me to lot and let them in? <laughs> Such impudence! You would best remember, Bad. Your salary with you depends on me. So? Oh my god, he even made him go. Oh my god. <laughs> this isn't good for Bad. You know what, Bad? You come live with me. Yeah, you'll be just fine. I'll, you know, you can stay rent free for three months. You know, because I've done it before. <laughs> I'm so glad I have a kind boss like Mr. Edgeworth. Your salary really depends on how you perform here. Hmm. I'm surprised what a mere attorney like you managed to uncover in such a short time. So I'm just that good, baby! However, it's possible these finger marks were Master's own doing. Because he always wore gloves while cooking. In that case, do you have evidence that those finger marks were left by Master? And moreover, do you have evidence that he took off his gloves to pick up the murder weapon? Because that would be the thing where you definitely think he would. Well, I mean, okay, well, he had, he had chocolate on them. He would get chocolate on the murder weapon, but that's better to leave chocolate on it than fingerprints on it. Anyway, and moreover, there are still Foucault suspicions around Alicia. You still haven't given up on that. No! I agree, you still suspect me? I've already apologized for stealing a few pies! Oh my god, I should give her my scary Michael McDonald voice. I don't want to suspect you. However, I can't easily trust those thoughts. My thoughts. Never mind. You must still be hiding something. Uh, Greg is a bully! There, that's the scary Michael McDonald voice. Don't you know the temperature fresh cream must be kept at? 
You call yourself a dessert chef, but you lack even the most basic knowledge. Oh, I'm sorry for my lack of knowledge! In your case, it's not even about the lack of knowledge. In truth, you don't even know how to make desserts, do you? OBJECTION! Defense attorney, stop it! Stop being so epic! Any court of law, the evidence tells all. SLAP! Oh my god, you look like- Oh my god, you look horrible! Oh, <laughs> if you say the witness is lying, show it with evidence! We're not in court yet, but very well. I got it right here. Yeah, no, I, I know, I know, this is easy. Right over here, um... Fake desserts! The only things Delisha made with the, were those that broke the rules. The lamp and cloth that broke the rules were being held in Master's room. There is no way the witness could have returned them to her room. Yeah, his door was unlocked. Those were not the only fake desserts she made. What? Go ahead, count it. I don't give a shit. Her desserts may look like something out of a fairy tale at first glance. But in reality, they are nothing but mannequins, decorated with cream. Fall up to stare! How many times does she do that in that game? She's like, ending a sentence with that little, d like, descending voice pitch. Like, you know, doo -doo -doo -doo. You know. She does it like eight times in the finale, it's ridiculous. Anyway, apart from the cream, they're all fake. You wanna see real cream, baby? I'll show you. This is not something one aiming to become the world's base pa greatest pastry chef would do. Is this true, bad? Yep, my shoes can attest to that. You don't think somebody actually did it on my sh- Never mind. Will that be enough to convince Prosecutor Von Karma? No. Once he sees what Delisha has done, he'll have no choice but to be convinced. I mean, eventually this goes to court and I lose. And I keep thinking about that, and it's like... So something's gonna go wrong here, and I have no idea where or why, how it's gonna happen. Delisha, the fact that your actions could lead to you being a suspect is no laughing matter. That's... I did murder! Isn't it time you told us the whole truth? Who are you? And why were you indulging yourself in another contestant's work? Yeah, I understand. Hmm. Listen, I didn't mean for that to be like an ooh. This just came out sounding like that. The truth is, I'm not really a dessert chef, like I led you to believe. I'm actually a pharmacist. A pharmacist? What the hell? What? What? A pharmacist? That's a completely different occupation. It's no wonder he can hide his surprise. Why is a pharmacist like you participating in this contest? I just love eating desserts. I joined because I thought I'd be able to eat some of Fluffy's desserts. I never thought I'd end up making it to the finals. Oh man. The, the side of the fountain there behind him looks like an extension of hair that he's wearing. Like a really po like a ponytail or something. Huh. Even Prosecutor Von Karma is at a loss for words. <laughs> so that's the real reason why you entered the contest? Yes, he has expected. Jeffy desserts were also good. So the gloved finger marks on the picture frame were your doing. No way! I never wore gloves! <laughs> gloves. Delicia's fingerprints were found on Mr. Master's chocolates. So it is true that she wasn't there in gloves. Why am I doing that? Yes, exactly! You do believe me, Greg! So, no. Is your face stuffed with is your face stuffed with nothing but desserts? Hey, sorry, Manny! <laughs> I think it's her belly that's stuffed. <laughs> Were Master's dessert desserts all you ate? Actually, no. I had a Kit Kat bar, too. After the afternoon tea, I also ate Icy's desserts. Uh-oh. You mean you entered the victim's room? Yes, exactly! The room was empty, after all. Perhaps the victim was already dead by then. But my first bite tasted way too salty and I couldn't eat it. So I ate a delicious doll-shaped dessert that was nearby. This delicious, you really are a glutton. <laughs> For punishment! It is rare you see a woman with this kind of appetite. That's all I did. 
Greg and Manny, everyone! Sorry, I caused you trouble. Now that you told us the truth, everything's fine. There's no need to apologize. <laughs> this does not mean that your testimony is trust trustworthy. <laughs> I will be investigating the victim's room after this. Only then, with my perfectly straight vertical front, will I decide if your testimony is true. Prosecutor Von Karma, I'd like to go as well. I also need to ascertain whether you're going to plant some fake evidence or not. And also my reasoning up till now, that's right. Hmm. I'll let you follow, but I have no intention of letting you investigate. Well, that's fine, I've done enough of that anyway. Man, oh man. 9pm contest venue, Dover's room. This? What is the meaning of this? Huh? What? The desserts adorning the victim's room had disappeared without a trace? How? Did, are they melted? It looks kind of like they might be melted. Did somebody turn the temperature way up while we were... Was this the true killer's doing? Was this the true killer's doing? A body that was hidden inside the dessert, and a murder weapon that was moved. Further investigation would be required to arrive at the truth of this case. Oh, he's narrating. That's his old self narrating there. Holy crap, dude! Well, man oh man, guys! Where does that put us, then? That puts us in a world of crap, I think. Okay, we're back in the present time now. Oh, this is weird. Are we going to have to investigate in the present time, too? Maybe there's something we don't know about the case that we haven't known all this time that we're going to find out here. God, what a story that would be. Anyway, I guess we'll find out next time on Ace Attorney Investigations 2. See you guys later. Man, this is getting good.